Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to today's video. We're gonna play Midnight Ride. I played this once before, kinda sorta. I, I basically tested it out, but apparently uh, there's still production on this game and a lot has been added to the current game and there's DLC. While I don't have the DLC yet, I do intend to put it on my Steam wish list, which is where you can find this game if you want to check it out yourself. And then maybe uh, once I have that, I'll play it. But I just, you know, want to see what other routes we can take in this game. And, you know, I just have some more fun with it for a little while. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, it's probably going to start the same way it did last time where Serena and uh, looks like her boyfriend Melvin are in the car and they're going to have a fight. So uh, we'll, we'll just kind of we'll get through all of this. I really don't know if I want to actually like play out all these parts again. Anyway, Serena is yelling at Melvin for whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll paraphrase what happened. It's been a while since I played, but I do remember they were at a party. Um, yeah, they were at a party, and uh, I can't remember why they were there, what happened, but I think he ended up making out with somebody or, or doing the, the deal with another lady. Let's see. Yeah. Um, or maybe she did. I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let, let's uh, just see what's going on here. I'm kind of just clicking through this at the moment. Or maybe, yeah, maybe she cheated on him because he's calling her a bitch, and she's always, he's always putting up with her shit. And uh, now she's going to know what it feels like. Anyway. It was her. It was her that was cheating. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, not him. She cheated on him at the party after she broke up with him for whatever reason. Probably just so she could cheat. Probably just so she could cheat. Anyway. So let's get, let's get to where he, she gets kicked out. Is this what's going to happen? All right. They got a huge argument. She just got kicked out of the car. And now he's all alone in this dark street in what looks like the middle of nowhere. Oh, this can't be happening. I'm going to wake up any second, I'm sure. Who am I kidding? I'm dead. In the middle of the night, alone. Let's see if I have a signal at least. Wait, where's my phone? Shit, my purse. Oh, fuck you, Melvin. I hate you. It's all your fault. All right, it looks like there's a car coming, though, so maybe this car will help us out. Actually, the last time I played this game, um, some couple picked me up in their RV. So I'm going to see if I can skip that and maybe get picked up in somebody else's car. Maybe that's how these stories go, where um, just based on who picks you up, you'll have a different type of storyline. We'll see. So she's waving this guy down, and and does he stop? Does he stop? Nope. It's too bad. So sad. Well, I wouldn't give a ride to someone in the middle of the night either, but someone has to. I'm sure of it. Really? Not a single one of those stopped. Oh, here comes another one. Maybe this time. Yeah, here's the RV with the couple. Oh, that's not a car. It's a motorhome. Well, beggars can't be choosers. Is she saying that like loud enough? Or is she just saying it to herself? A ride, please? No, okay. Don't, don't think I'm a thief or a whore. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, we're, we're going to totally skip this guy. Already, already uh, hung out with Buster, and he actually has a girlfriend. All right, so I could take the ride, but like I said, already did so last time. I am going to wait for another car. No, it's fine. My friend should be here at any moment now. Oh, no problem. Suit yourself. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. All right. So, yeah. You may have ditched your only chance, Serena. Fuck, I've been out here for ages. I think I might have ditched my only chance. I should start walking. At least I'd be doing something. My feet are really sore. These hills were not made for walking. At least not this much. Oh, fuck. What'd she do? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey, 
That's right. She's not wearing. She's not wearing pantalones or panties. I don't know. Pantalones is pants, right? Ouch, my ass. Oh, fucking great. Just what I needed. You know what? Fuck this. I can't go another step in these pieces of shit. I'm going barefoot. And these can go to hell. Okay, she's going to throw her heels together with Melvin. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, this road is killed. But at least I can walk faster now. If only I didn't explode on Melvin, I wouldn't be in this mess. Wait. What? What's that? A truck? Oh, God, it's huge. Maybe he'll give me a ride. Please stop. I'm tired of walking alone here. Yes, it's stopping. I don't know. I wouldn't stop. I, 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 I wouldn't take a ride from a trucker. <laughs> he just says night girl. What does that even mean? Hey. All right. He looks strange. I was just going to ask you how much you're asking, but you don't look like the regular whore. Well, that's because I'm not a whore. And now I know why he stopped. Well, if that's the case, what are you doing here so late and dressed like that? Well, that's because I'm coming from a party. By foot? Do you want to ride? I'd love to have a sweet piece of ass like you with me. I, oh, what should I do? <laughs> he thought I was a whore. Now he calls me a sweet piece of ass. But do I have any other options? Uh, you know what, for this, for this one, I'm going to have to refuse. I just, like I said, I wouldn't even take a ride from a trucker. Not all truckers are bad. Don't get me wrong. If you're a trucker and you're watching this, there's just not a good reputation amongst you. All right. Thanks, but no need. I'm almost home. Well, suit yourself. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, yeah, not gonna do it. I just hope I'm not out of options yet. Another ride that I refused. He seemed too creepy, I think. And I'm not a whore. And it seems whores get rides easier than me. <laughs> if he didn't confuse me with one, would he have even stopped? I could try to be more sexy to have a better chance. For fuck's sake, I'm not going that low for a ride. Am I? I'm honestly starting to think that it might be a good idea. But I can't go that low. The trucker already thought I was a whore. God knows what others might think of me. What if someone I know passes by? They would think I'm a whore, or a slut at least. But what can I do? Wait, another car. Please stop. This guy went right by. Not even slowed down. So fuck you too. All right, another one that went by. Why doesn't anyone stop? Shit. To be honest, I don't think I would stop either. Well, I can't think of any other option. Maybe showing my tits will get me a ride. Don't do it. Or I might get raped. Who knows? Or another trucker trying to find a whore. Or, fuck. There are so many shitty things that could happen. But if I don't do something, I'm already fucked. And speak of the devil, another car is coming. This could be my last chance. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm not going that low for a ride. Let's just hope this one stops for me. Please. Nope, of course not. Probably thinks I'm a thief. Or that I'm baiting him for a thief to steal the car. I don't think I'd stop for myself either. But I can only count on someone with a kind heart to show up. And maybe a bit naive to help a stranger in the middle of the night. Shit, for some strange reason, the air is getting colder all of a sudden. Even this sudden mist appeared out of nowhere. And I'm already barefoot. I'd rather not catch a cold, too. Oh, wow. Where am I? Hmm. I don't think I remember this part of the road. Fuck, it's so creepy to walk alone in the middle of the night. Everything seems scary. Even these walls, they would usually just be walls during the day. But right now, they seem to house the dead inside. Fuck. Well, they do house the dead. Calm down. It's just a graveyard with dead people inside. Was it always here? Maybe there's someone here. I, I don't know. I wouldn't expect someone to be at a graveyard in, in the middle of the night. Well, even the lights are on inside that graveyard. 
maybe maybe the keeper is there yeah for sure he he would have a phone fuck many horror movies starting the graveyard but i need to get home i think for this episode we're gonna try to find the keeper i kind of like this element of the game so let's go in fuck i can't see anyone here hello is someone there keeper Oh, this guy's being all creepy back here. Anyone? Oh, shit. Oh, she got bit by a vampire. Okay. All right. This is uh, taking an interesting turn. Mmm, delicious. So, what does the most beautiful of all nights bring me? Firstly, it gives me a donation. A fitting meal that I didn't even have to hunt for. Secondly, an astonishing gift. I wouldn't dare ask fate for a better one. Yes, a most beautiful gift indeed. Most gracious fate, pampering your servant like this. A charming face, complete with a graceful body. A perfect companion to enjoy the night. Look up, darling. This is a command. Oh, fate. A mortal man would think this is too good to be true, but I'm no mortal man. Yes, a plump bosom. Soft and yet firm. For lack of a better term, perfect. That uh, bite looks like it has like mercury or, or, or something like that coming out of it. It doesn't look red, it looks silver. Or it could be silver, which would be weird. Because... Well, I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. And no undergarments. Unusual. But I'm not one to complain. My evaluation of you couldn't be any better, my dear. Now, please, would you be so kind and disrobe? Okay, Vlad. I see what's going on here. This is a command. Obey. Yes, darling. Thank you for your cooperation. You'll know I'm kind for those who obey me. However, I said disrobe, not remove just parts of your garments. Mm, so you've managed to halt the progression of my influence. You do have some spine in you, I'll grant you that. But for your infelicity, that's quite delightful to me. Because time, my dear, is not on your side. We have the eternity. Now once again, you force me to repeat myself. Disrobe. That's much better. And you were quite fast. You're extraordinary. However, no one can resist my charms for long, my dear. But it is much more thrilling when they try to. You are graced with an amazing body, my dear. And since you piqued my interest already, I'll also disrobe in your presence. We wouldn't want you feeling alone. Would we? Now, let me see. Yeah, so tender and smooth. So intoxicating. And I can't stop while there's so much to enjoy. I have something to confess. I've seen many before you. For countless nights I've haunted, but never fate granted me with such a beauty. Do not be fearful. I comprehend that this night might be frightening. But I'm not an evil overlord. I wish that you also enjoy it. Not only wish, I command you to do it. Mm. Our connection is getting stronger, Serena. All right, well, uh, if some things happen, it looks like things got magical, obviously. Oh. And with that, Serena was whisked away from this realm forever to be a servant of the night. And to enjoy each and every step along the way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Midnight Ride. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. Smack that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.